very good afternoon students i hope you guys are very fine so today we will start our literature english literature chapter 1 that is monkey trouble in this chapter first we'll going to discuss is the theme of the chapter that is how do animals and birds survive so bachcha if we talk about what kind of a pet do we have and what sort of relationship we have with them is very special and is very unique as the owners have very emotional ties with their pets and somehow pets have dependent of the types of human involved but the way animals feel is very different bachcha from one species to another every species have different sort of behavior with their owners these differences have profound behavior for well being of animals as they have ideal relationship so we have to behave very good and very very happily with animals so our first chapter is just based on animals and their survival that is lesson number 1 monkey trouble this story is all about the naughty nature of the monkey whose name is tutu a female monkey she is a trouble creating monkey who creates problem at come and in the city so let us start the story now grandfather bought tutu from a street entertainer who a street entertainer bachcha someone who goes around the streets singing and playing an instrument or making monkeys dance we always see at our streets na for 10 rupees grandfather bought a tutu from street entertainer for just rupees 10 the main the man had three monkeys Tutu was the smallest. Tutu was the smallest, but the most mischievous. Mischievous means a troublemaker. She was tied up most of the time, as she was the naughtiest among all. The street entertainer always tied her up almost every time, and then grandfather thought that she would be very happy in our. home grandfather like to keep very different pets very unusual pets at her at his home at first grandmother grandmother refused it that no we, we can't keep monkey in our house you have enough pets as grandfather was having so many pets he was having goat several white mice and a very cute small tortoise but i don't have any grandfather said then grandmother got so anxious and she said i can just keep only one man in my house i can't handle two men and then grandfather said that to two is not a man it's a little girl then monkey grandmother gave in She had always wanted a little girl in the house so she believed girls were less mischievous than boys but she didn't know that she was the naughtiest the tutu was the naughtiest and tutu was going to prove her very wrong she was a very she was a very pretty little monkey her bright eyes always sparkled with naughtiness she had a wide grin grin means big smile which showed her purely white teeth and terrified terrified means frightened or afraid aunt ruby one of the first thing that grandmother and grandfather taught to do was to shake hands and she insisted on doing this when any of the guests welcome or come to our house one day major malik entered and welcome uh, himself to have to shake hands but before he could enter the drawing room otherwise tutu had started already climbing onto his shoulder and stay there playing with his hair mustache and tutu still worked as a third hand and added to her very good looks grandfather believed a tail can add any one's a good look aunt ruby had not been informed of tutu's arrival she doesn't know that there is another pet in their house 
we heard loud shrieks very loud noise from a bedroom and went running that what is wrong happening with his room with her room sorry so it was to two trying to put aunt's petticoat on they were so too large it was just so large then when aunt ruby entered the room she gets so petrified she was just so afraid that actually what is happening that actually aunt ruby saw a white bundle with no face jumping up and down on the bed and aunt got aunt got so scared then again to to create a problem what was it then uncle benji complained that his hair brush was missing then what happened is we found the hair brush that tutu sunning herself sunning herself means lying in the sun on the back veranda using the hair brush to scratch her armpits that was just so ridiculous i took it from tutu and gave it back to uncle benji but he said sorry to him but he threw that brush away tutu doesn't have fleas i said fleas means small insects no 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 and she baths every more often than benji said grandfather who had borrowed aunt ruby's shampoo to give tutu a bath the day grandfather had to visit merit to collect his railway pension so he decided to take tutu because it's very impossible to uh, take care of her by grandmother her own self so to prevent any problems in a uh, train grandfather decided to carry tutu into a very large bag that was a large black traveling bag grandfather paid seat for himself and carried tutu as a hand baggage there was enough space for tutu to look out of the bag to breathe easily and to feed her bis biscuits and bananas it was very easy and open thing so that she will not bite anyone and tutu waited in the bag as a good pet but while grandfather was showing showing a ticket to the turn style that is a gate with arms which can move and let only one person pass at one time she suddenly poked her head out of the bag and she shocked the ticket collector the poor ticket collector gets so afraid and he was just so shocked he said so you have a dog grandfather said no it's a little monkey it's a little girl monkey it's not a dog in a very angry way this is a baby monkey and there is no charge for babies then both a grandfather and a ticket collector collector had a conversation that collector said it, it is just big as a cat and grandfather said that no it's not a cat it's a baby girl it's a baby girl monkey but collector said a big pets have to be paid for so grandfather took tutu out of the bag he tried to argue with the young collector that it's not a dog it's a monkey it's, and it's very it's a baby but ticket collector didn't listen to him and grandfather paid paid fare for tutu that was just rupees 5 then grandfather just to get his own back it means just to teach ticket collector a lesson he took a small tortoise from his pocket and he said should i have to pay for this also then ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise and pushed it and said no sir no grandfather there is no fare for this small tortoise then he gave grandfather a triumphant look it means happy and proud look and said no charge sir it's not a dog so this was a very comic story and had so much of funny incident of tutus and his and her mischievous and behavior. the story also showed a good behavior and a very sweet nature towards animals of grandfather and how animals survive as a pet in the houses i hope you guys like the story be good to animals take care of yourself take care of your families be happy bye bye take care